Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm coming on today to share this little project, like literally little project that I just finished. Um, I was actually really inspired by my friend Alicia, who is Alicia Bland here on YouTube. She makes these cute little, and I just had hers. What did I just do with it? I thought I, I wanted it to keep it close. Oh, I know where it is. I put it up here. Excuse my reach. Um, I got this from her. And I was looking at it the other day and thinking, I want to do one with the same size. Because I had gotten the 8x8 um, Tim Holtz paper pad. And I thought, why not try? So this project here was extremely, extremely inspired by Alicia's little 3x7 um, journals too. So this is my version of it. Um, I, well, since it's a three by seven, so it measures three by seven, I did have to cut it down because if you fold an eight by eight, you know, in half, obviously it's not three by seven, it's four by eight. So I did cut it down a little bit. Um, I used, as you can see, the music paper one. And it's just, I like it because it looks so grungy. Well, all Tim Holtz paper does, and that's why I like his papers. Um, and then I added this uh, flower to the front of it, just to kind of, it's kind of like breaks up the music. I don't know if that makes sense, but something so that it's there, but it's so light that it's not there. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but that was my intention. So, um, I also did reinforce the spine with some washi tape, and then I left the inside cover blank. So, and I'm trying not to be in the shadow right here, but I think if I stay on this side, I should be fine. Okay, so here I have one of these little, um, a lot of the ephemera in here is the Tim Holtz ephemera. Um, there's also random ephemera that I can't remember where I got it from, and maybe some others, and if I come along, um, uh, when I come along to it, if I remember, I will definitely let you know. But like most of this stuff, like this, you know, this is all Tim Holtz ephemera. Uh, this, though, I made myself this little tag with my um, my Big Shot machine. Um, and I thought that would be cute just because, you know, it's very grungy looking. And then this is a little card so you can actually journal inside here. But it also is a tuck spot. So I thought that was kind of neat. And then also with this, I tried to decorate it a little bit more. Um, normally, my journals, they're decorated. But I tried to, you know, add something to every single page. I think that 95% of the pages are covered. There are a few that I think I left blank, but we'll, I can't really remember. I'm sure I could have looked through the journal before I turn on the camera, but I didn't. So let's just go. <laughs> so here I took a little scrap of um, vintage ledger paper, ripped around the edges, ink the edges and then I thought it'd be fun just you know to kind of dress that up so here's a little sheet but on the back um, I was ripping apart a um, guest check and you know this is the bottom so instead of throwing it away I used it there and a little Tim Holtz moth there here uh, is just some pieces of ephemera this actually is from Elsie Bell's bookshelf um, that one I do remember you know, just some little bits and pieces just to um, do whatever you want with. I mean, you can use them as journaling cards. You can use them in some other project. You can glue them down to a page, whatever you feel like it. And on the back here, I do have some mushroom stickers. So um, the, I did use some stickers throughout here. And all my stickers that I, I used were from um, In Love Art Shop or In, I forget, something like that. Uh, here I used a scrap of when I cut the outside cover down, but then I turned it into its own little pocket. And then in the pocket, I have little bits of ephemera. Here is actually one of the stamps that I received from Bonnie, Bonnie and Clive, here on YouTube. And a lot of the stamps have, like, the packaging or the envelope that it was on, and I think that's so cool because um, some people I know cut them down, but I wanted to keep it big because you could turn it into a tuck spot if you wanted you could journal on the back of it there's so many different possibilities to do so I left you know the pages on 
and then here is a little admit one ticket and this I got from my friend um, Lolly from her shop so on the back of here this I made with the um, a guest check and then I have oh you know what no I know who this is too um, this is Moira McDonald uh, this is uh, like an ephemera kit that I got from her a long time ago uh, from her shop but it's really cool it's like kind of like vintagey grungy floral so I added it to uh, to this journal and then here's another piece of vintage ledger with this is a completely blank page so that's one that I didn't do here I did some crocheted trim the back is blank so this is good for journaling the front is also good for journaling you know because you still have all this space here um, but the back is completely blank, so if you do want to really journal on that side, you have the opportunity to do so. And then here's another sticker on the music page. Uh, I added a little, just a little trim up there. Here's a little flip up, flip down, with a decorated with a guest check. And again, some just random bits of ephemera. This is another of Moira's. And another stamp from Bonnie. And then on the back, I did try to use some washi tape in this one because I have washi tape um, and I don't use it very often. I use it to like seal packages and things like that, but I don't actually use it in the journal too much. So I wanted to start to try to use it a little bit more. So this is my first attempt. Well, I've done it before, but I don't do it as often. But, so here's an attempt there. Down here, I took another one of the stamps. Um, I put it onto some eyelet trim and then this is just a little flip up here so you can have all this extra room for journaling and then here's some crochet trim I did a little bit of stenciling um, and then that flips open so there's a lots of place to journal there if you choose to and then on the back here is another of the the tickets um, I put it onto this paper and I don't know actually where this paper came from but it's it's a little bit thicker so it's kind of nice and then see it kind of hangs off the edge you see that right down there I didn't glue it all the way down then I have this little um, like a little tuck spot made with this crocheted lace here um, I added a little lace up there and here again we just have some little bits of um, ephemera this is Elsie Bell's bookshelf here's one of my sideways library cards that I shrunk down and so you see if I can get that tucked back in when you're on camera it's always kind of hard because I don't want to lean forward too much because then you're gonna see my head and that's just gonna block the way and you know not so great so here's the middle of the signature and I love this stamp um, it was ripped off the envelope or package whatever it was so there's a whole line and it looks like it's from Spain but it's just really cool I love the colors how they match with the whole journal so I did that just as a decoration it's not a tuck or anything just a decoration and then here's another stamp and I back that on just to some um, some lace back there this is a, another blank page here I just put some little um, music paper it was a scrap and I'm trying to use some of the scraps so that way they don't go to waste because it is all real vintage stuff so you know like if something is really vintage you don't wanna just chuck it out because it's a random size so I um, tend to keep little bits on my desk and um, I included one of these bits there and on the back again we have two little pieces of ephemera there in this little crocheted lace tuck a little flower there's another flip here and just some more fun little things here's another little stamp oh you can't see that can you uh, there we go it's a little shadowy sorry about that this is another one from Elsie Bell's bookshelf and another blank page here I just did a little collaging I did the crochet trim on the back and then a little stamp on top of that and then blank on the back not that you can really write here but if you want to you could definitely write down on the bottom there but you can put a picture or something nice there again some trim here and on the back we have another little sticker down on the bottom there um, here again another little tuck spot and just some little Tim Holtz ephemera 
and then another stamp. This is Iowa Bicentennial Era, which is super cool. And on the back, I did just a little ticket down here, ink the edges to make it look really grungy. And then I just glued it down. Here's one of the little Tim Holtz people. Really cute. Um, again, this is a little piece of a guest check. I was almost going to chuck it out, but why throw it away when it can just be a nice border? So it's there. Um, and then here has those two things tucked inside. And then the last page, another one of the stamps, and then a flip up and flip down there for extra journaling, and then the back. So that is my attempt on one of the little 3x7 mini journals influenced by my friend Alicia. So Alicia, thank you so much for coming up with these. Um, I know you did it for a challenge, and I can't remember the details, but um, you were the one that your style really influenced me to create this. So. It is available on my Etsy if you are interested. I will leave the link in the description box below. I'll also leave the link to Alicia's channel as well as her um, Etsy so you can go take a look and see, you know, what she's up to as well. So, you know, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!